Hey guys, it's Zipir and welcome to Python tutorial number 22. Uh, in this tutorial, we're going to be looking at our third, uh, or actually fourth, if we're in, if we include strings and lists and tuples. Uh, so we're going to look at our fourth sequence in Python, and that is the dictionary. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and open up the Python shell. Now, before we start using dictionaries, let's talk about what a dictionary is. And really, the key of what it is is in the name. Um, if we look at, uh, I'm gonna use, I'm gonna steal an analogy from uh, somewhere quickly, but it's a really good analogy, which is why I'm gonna use it. Uh, if you imagine uh, a fiction book, for example, you read uh, from one end to the to the other end, from start to finish, don't you? Uh, and you get all the information like that. But if you have a dictionary, literally, uh, um, let's say Oxford English dictionary. You can. You don't have to read from start to finish to find one word, do you? You can just look up that word, and then you can find its definition. So this is a lot like dictionaries in Python. You can look up the word, which in Python will be the key, and then you can find the value, or in real life, the definition of that word. In Python, the value of that key. So now we can start looking at... Um, at how to make dictionaries. Uh, that's all we're going to do for this tutorial, actually. We'll start covering all the methods and stuff in the next tutorial. But for now, let's find out how we can make a dictionary. So I'm just going to create a variable called myDict, and I'm going to assign it to. And to create a dictionary, rather than using the square brackets, which would be for lists, the parentheses, which is for tuples, use the curly braces, okay? Uh, and then you have to type the key of the value. So, say you want to store a phone number, okay? The key of a phone number, a mobile number, would be, for instance, phone number, the literal string phone number, okay? That could be the key. So when you then want to look up the phone number, you, you reference it as phone number. You go and find in that Python dictionary the phone number part, and then you look at the definition. Okay, so to assign a value to, um, to assign a key to a value, <coughs> excuse me, you simply use the colon. Okay, so now I'm saying assign this key to the value I'm going to type in in a second. So I'm going to say my phone number is one two three four five six seven eight nine ten. Okay. Uh, and I'll just put spaces around this. And now if I press enter, we actually have just created a dictionary. Okay, so now we know um, how to create a dictionary. How do we look at values inside a dictionary? We can try doing this. And the reason we can't uh, index, um, index dictionaries like we can with tuples and lists is because uh, to find a value in a dictionary, because dictionaries don't store, uh, they don't sort values which are inside them, because um, there's no way to sort them, and most of the time you don't even want them to be sorted, because it doesn't sort them, you can't index them by you know zero through one, unless the key you give it. So like, unless the key you give it is zero or another number, and so on. Okay. Uh, so that's one rule. Uh, so, how do we actually look at values inside a dictionary then? Well, simply, we use mydict, still uh, square, bra square brackets as well, but then we type the key, okay? So in this mydict dictionary, the, key, the only key value pair we have, the key of that value, the key of that key value pair is phone number. So we could just, w well, we could type it out, but I'll just copy and paste it just to be easier. Uh, so you type the key between the square brackets, and then you press enter. And it gives me back the phone number I typed in up here. Okay? So if you want to create uh, a dictionary with uh, multiple values, you just comma separate the key value pairs. So you could say first name is Chris, then comma last name is and let me just maximize this last name is Fenton okay 
and execute that. Now I can look up my dict first name and find out the first name. Uh, I can also look up my dict um, last name. Okay, and I'll find the last name, and of course I can still look up the phone number as well. Now uh, I'm going to introduce a concept which I don't think we've looked at at all so far, but that is um, basically multi-dimensional arrays. Um, now it's a lot easier in Python uh, to understand because uh, of how easily you can see it in Python, because Python, the way you set lists up and stuff is a lot... Uh, well, actually, it's unfair to say it's a lot easier in Python. Uh, other languages have do allow s formatting to be. Uh, they give you leeway, so you can make it, so you can uh, make it readable. Uh, but still, Python does it pretty well as also. Uh, but basically, multi-dimensional arrays are arrays with, uh, in the case of dictionaries, more than one curly brace. So say, in this dictionary, you can see, uh, we can actually only really, theoretically, we can only have one person's information. So if we want to have ten people uh, on a database or something, we'd have to have ten different dictionaries, uh, as opposed to, what if we just want one dictionary with all the information in there? That wouldn't work, because um, we'd have ten first names, but we could only use the first name key once. I guess we could say first name one, first name two, and so on, but that's just impractical. Okay, uh, so uh, Python allows us to have multi-dimensional uh, dictionaries in this case, but also lists and tuples. And I'll uh, we'll j I'll just show you a quick example of that uh, after we do this. But okay, say I wanted um, I'll put two persons, two people's information in only because I don't want to have to type out a whole bunch of information. Now, what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to say um, Chris Fenton is the key to, and then I'm going to open another pair of square braces, and I'll close the original pair just to be neat. And then I'm going to put the phone number in here. Uh, yeah, okay. Phone number. There we go. Um... And I could have address as well is to fifty thousand never ending street. Okay. And then uh out if I uh I could make another contact as well. Uh a sib is the key to and then